Welcome, welcome, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, Blender Nation, my fellow Blender users. For the longest time, I guess for a decade or so, box modeling was the way to go creating any shape, organic or inorganic. But recently, Within the last five years or so, I only started using Blender with Blender 2.76. But I definitely know in Blender 2.76, there was a big helping tool that could help us model organic shape. And the name fits. It's called the Skin Modifier. The Skin Modifier, if you knew the Blender, takes all the drudgery out of using box modeling to create an organic shape. So we're going to be using a skin modifier to model this organic human hand. So first, let's begin. Let's add a basic mesh. In this case, I'm going to choose a plane. Any mesh you want to use, it doesn't matter. But you're going to see why I chose the plane in a few seconds. I'm going to edit mode. As you see, my mouse is pointing at it mode. Now, I want to hit Alt M simultaneously. So I'm pushing Alt, then I'm going to hit M, then I'm going to choose Merge. I like to, you can choose Merge at Center, Merge at Cursor, or Collapse. I usually choose, most of us choose Merge at Center. So I have a little vertex that you can't see. Because it's right in the center of the 3D cursor. So I'm going to hit the Y key to move my merge cursor at the base of the hand. G, Y. And as you see, I hope you can see that little orange dot move at the base of my hand. Now, for me, I discovered something important when making a hand. Don't take that little dot or the vertex and go way to the center. I want to keep that wrist shape. And as you can see right here, that wrist is a box shape. So, while the vertex is highlighted, I'm going to hit E. Extrude on the Y axis. I'm going to come right up to the base of the hand. Right on that lower black curved line. There. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go to my modifiers. Click on add modifier. And choose skin modifier. And you see, the skin modifier, even though it's a small box, it has retained that re rectangular shape. Now, for me, while I'm done with the skin modifier, to know what I'm at, or vertex I'm at, I like to turn it off sometimes. But I know that this vertex at the base of the hand has been mod has on. I want to hit the E key again. E, extrude in a Y direction. I want to come up to about a third of the hand. Somewhere like a to the third point, a third of it. Then I want to click. Then I'm going to hit the right mouse or left mouse button in this case. So now I have three points. One at the base of the arm. One where the hand begin. And one approximately a third of the inner hand length. That third point is the point I'm going to use to start making my fingers and my thumbs. So I'm going to hit extrude. Put a, a joint is at the base of the thumb, so I'm going to hit enter or hit the left mouse button. I'm going to screw it again. You go to that next joint where you see the lower, the two black lines at. Then I'm going to hit my last extrude for the tip of my thumb. Now it's, an impo it's important while we added those joints. I'm going to show you in a few minutes. I'm going to click on this 
this base thumb joint right here and you're gonna see why we need to add those joints I'm gonna turn my skin modifier back on it's on I choose the joints to modify the dimensions of my thumb to modify the dimensions of your skin modifier you have to hit control a so I'm gonna push control and a now I can, can change the dimensions of my thumb now I'm gonna find my other joint but I can't see it so I'm gonna turn the skin modifier off click on my second thumb joint turn the modifier back on I'm gonna hit control a then I'm gonna adjust the dimensions of that and you see what's happening it's starting to cozily fit into the drawing turn out the modifier once more click on that last vertex turn the skin modifier back on hit control A once more and you see I have that thumb now while that last joint is um selected you can hit the G key to move your vertex around as you see I, I hit the G key to adjust my vertex okay I'm gonna adjust this middle joint again right click on it click I'm gonna hit control A to adjust it okay that looks a little bit more better I'm gonna turn off the modifier again so I can find my particular vertex I'm gonna come back and hit to the center vertex with a palm and a palm inside the palm I, I see it now so I can begin using my skin modifier I hit E to extrude there's my first joint click on it here's my second little joint click and my remaining joint click here's the base of the finger I'm gonna turn off my skin modifier so I can find my vertexes again right I got that one at the base of that finger turn it on hit control A to adjust it right there now I discovered something else with the skin modifier the skin modifier is helpful but in most videos they make the whole person the whole human being is made you make the whole human being but when you make your person it looks like Gumby or, or, or something crazy looking I discovered when you make it when you use the skin modifier it's best to make incremental adjustments on each leg each arm or the thigh as you go along don't sketch that stick figure then all of a sudden put the skin modifier on it because your figure gonna be looking crazy the way I'm doing it here I'm I'm making my adjustments to each finger as I go along so I have more control it's like I, it's feel better to me that way like I have more control that way I'm not turned off by the way it looked because I know I can adjust it slowly I'm not turned off I made an adjustment to that finger turn the modifier back off click on this last joint turn the modifi modifier back on and make your adjustment see I'm, I'm making adjustments as I go along so I don't get turned off and start feeling negative about using the skin modifier click that the tip of the finger turn the modifier back on to control a simultaneously control then a and you start to see at least it does like a finger and like I said once again if you want to move that finger around since the joint is up since the vertex is already highlighted since the vertex is already highlighted I can hit the G key or one of those manipulators but since I've been using blender since version 2.76 I'm used to I'm used to the hot keys I hit the G key make my adjustments and there I'm gonna turn off my I'm gonna turn off my skin modifier again so I can find that central vertex I'm back to my central vertex I 
10 and skin modify back on hit E to extrude or your whatever manipulator you need to extrude it because we're in edit mode E to extrude I'm going all the way up to the base of my finger I click extend it again the second joint I click I want my last joint I click then I'm going to the tip of the finger then I click now I want to start manipulating that finger to make it look better I turn off the modifier so I can find my vertex and here it is turn it back on turn the vertex I'm gonna turn the modifier back on hit control a so that's how we use that's how we're doing over and over extruding turn off the modifier and hitting control a that's the those are the three simple steps control a to adjust that finger turn off the modifier so I can find my point turn it back on control a oops control a turn it off my, my tip of my finger turn the modifier back on control a control a again okay and I have that turn off the modifier come back to that central palm point turn the modifier back on see we're just doing a repetitive task hit E to extrude all we're just doing the same steps over and over I got the base of the finger hit extrude I got the middle joint hit extrude the last joint extrude and I'm going to the tip of my finger hit E Time to modify it once more. We make adjustments. So I said this is very important. Whatever you're making on a granite shape, slowly adjust the modifier as you making that shape. Don't wait to the end because you you have a lot of work to do. Turn the modifier back on. Come over. Hit Control A. I make my adjustments. Turn the modifier back off on that point and you see with box modeling it would be oh it, I just have to extrude a couple times about five six seven, fifteen times if you're using the uh, if you were using the box method you would probably be extruding a hundred times so you see the skin modifier it comes in handy it eliminates all those extrusions I'm gonna grab this and move it over a little bit more right there Turn the mod turn it back on. Control A. Have to be right here. Control A. Turn it off. Highlight the tip point, the tip of the finger. Turn it on. Control A. And there. Now I'm gonna go back to that central point. Right here at the base of the thumb, the base in the middle of the hand or the third of the hand. I highlighted it. That's the main that's the main point right there. The point that's in uh, a third from the bottom of where your palm begins. That's the point that makes the finger and those thumbs. Turn off, turn on the modifier. Let's begin our extrude. got that vertex go right up here I have that I have that and the tip of my finger zap turn it off so I can find that vertex I'm hit G to slightly move it over I can turn back on the modifier control a to make my adjustments turn it off get my next vertex can go over control a turn it off get this control a 
and last point is the tip, the vertex, the tip of the finger. Control A. Now, as you see, it don't like a hand yet. I got my fingers, but the palm not there. This the important part of the skin modifier. You have to go back to that central point, and I call it my marker's root. Go back to that central point. Choose mark loose. Mark loose make the vertice. It makes well. It makes the modifier expand. I I chose mark loose. And you see it expanded. It's close to the hand shape. We gotta make some some more fine adjustments to it. I want to turn off my modifier because you see uh, that arm at the base. The arm we have to ex we have to um, increase the width of that arm, and that will help our hand out. I'm gonna turn this off. So I'm gonna choose this bottom. Right. I'm pushing the shift key. I'm gonna I'm gonna. Highlight these let these bottom two vertexes, vertices. Those two are highlighted. Turn the modifier back on. Hit Control A, and let's see what happened as we expand. You see what's happening? It's expanding it, expanding it, and expanding it some more. Now we have a basic hand shape. I can end the tutorial, but I want to show you more. All right. But see. It's more like the hand, like a triangular shape. To fix that, we have to hit Control A, Control A. Then I hit the Y key, and that should flatten. See that flatten out my hand. That flatten it out, and you see, I have a nice hand shape. And you can fix the things up yourself, but we got that basic hand shape because we're making a human being the most arduous part and the toughest part is making that hand the foot is easy now I have my skin modifier I could choose apply if I want I'm gonna hit apply what I got to use but first I'm gonna save it file save okay I saved it well you can cuz I've had a copy already available I'm gonna I'm gonna apply the modifier oh we gotta be in a object mode to apply our modifiers. I go into object mode. I'm going to apply this modifier and it's good to go. Now I'm going to add my subdivision surface modifier. Add subdivision surface and you see it got it, I'm like a hand. Definitely that pinky and that thumb. I'm going to choose my view too. And you see you got a basic hand shape. So ladies and gentlemen I hope you enjoyed this video on how to at least make a hand to start you off. If you liked the video, it gave you insights on how to make a hand, give me a thumbs up. Also with this hand, you can use the sculpting tool to adjust the hand the way you want to. But if I was making that a simple figure, a simple polygon, at least I got a hand. And see, I'm going to show you one more thing. I want to, I'm going to apply, just to apply my modifier. I'm going to go back to edit mode. And you see how those different words, you see how I have these different uh, polygons. If I wanted to, if I wanted to, oh, okay. I can highlight different sections. Let me go up here to, um, Face select, hit C. I'm gonna go to uh, my, let's call it, um, proportional editing. I hit O, hit O, hit grab. And you see, you can make adjustments like a hand, because you know a hand has those, a hand is not smooth. You can make your different contours of your hand. I rolled it up a little bit. Oops, let me let me take off my I wanna hit C again just to choose a different portion of my hand. I choose proportional editing. Grab I just sink that oh I wanna make it smaller. I just sink that in a little bit. Come over to my other side. Oh 
A. Hit proportional edit tenant once more. Hit there. Grab it. And you see, I lift it up. Now let's go back into object view. And you see, it looks something like a hand. It got different contours. So you can take it from there. Use the sculpting tool. Uh, apply your modifiers. And to begin, manipulate those, mod um, those polygons. And your hand will look more realistic. So if you like this tutorial, give me a thumbs up. If you got any comments to give me as, as a Blender user, I've only been using it since version 2.76, please give me your, your comments. Alright, thank you all. Have a wonderful day. Continue using Blender and don't give up when you encounter a roadblock. Take care.